Hello there ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, my name is Coaster Chal and welcome to Coaster Chal YouTube channel. <laughs> Hello there ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, Coaster Chal here, Doncaster born, but built for theme parks and welcome to a theme park newsroom update. Where today we're going to be talking about Universal Studios over in Orlando, Florida. And uh, this is about the Shrek 4D attraction. It is officially closed, but the work has already started. Now, before we get started, guys, make sure you do like the video if you've loved it. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions. Subscribe if you are new around here. Click the notification bell so you never miss YouTube video. Also, guys, check the description down below for social media links and the Google Forms link where you behind the camera can submit your own video ideas. And for now, guys, let's talk about Shrek 4D closing down already with the minions appearing on the site. So the construction walls are already up the morning after the last run of Shrek 4D and the construction walls already show minion theming which means the original rumor from Screamscape about a villain con type attraction or a minions themed ride seems to be on the cards. According to pictures by Universal Parks News Today on Twitter, go and check them out at Uni News Today, they say the end of an era, construction walls covered in Minions artwork now surround Shrek 4D at Universal Studios Florida. Now, to give some positives to the construction walls, I love the design of them. Very, um, very kind of, I don't know, like it's a very numero uno, like a retro but cool kind of look and gives the Minions a, a whole new look. Now, if you don't know what the original room was about about the Shrek 4D replacement. Now the popular Minion presence at Universal Studios Florida will be expanding to include a second attraction in addition to Minion Mayhem. Now we're told at Screamscape it will tie heavily into the theme of the first Minions movie as park guests will be allowed to visit VillainCon for the first time. The annual convention held in Orlando for supervillains and criminals from around the world. We don't know if guests will enter through the hidden entrance disguised as a bait shop or not but I'm told the overall experience will allow you to both visit the trade show floor and go booth to booth. We're also told this will be an interactive experience where I'm guessing you'll get to try out various super weapons as you move from booth to booth. So in a way you can sort of think this is a Minions theme version of Toy Story Midway Mania. Just without the ride cars. Sounds crazy, but you won't be seated in a ride vehicle for this experience. Anyone who's been to a major convention, IAPA, Comic Con, etc., knows the true experience is found while walking past the endless aisles of the trade show booths. But trust me, you've got to keep the crowd moving and not just standing there. So guess we'll take this rapid and potentially explosive tour of VillainCon while standing on some kind of moving walkway. It sounds crazy and kind of weird, but those two things fit right into the world of Despicable Me and Minion films beautifully. We're also very intrigued by the unique sounding experience this could offer as something we've never quite seen before. So stay tuned because Shrek going going for the last time, we're told the trip to VillainCon will begin sometime in 2023. So this was the original rumour, so it was an interactive attraction on a possible walkway moving booth to booth to the trade show floor of VillainCon, trying out super weapons and experiencing this attraction. Now obviously with the construction walls already up around the Shrek 4D sites, I guess you can say these construction walls look all star. However, it's time for Shrek to say get off my land and the people to reply, nope, we're taking over your swamp. The minions are coming to town. There we are ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages. That is speaking about the minions construction site. The minions are hard at work. In fact, you may see a couple of minions on my desk. Um, but uh, that's by the by. Um, I'll let those minions continue with their work on my desk. I think they may be giving my desk a bit of a refurbishment. But um, but in order for the attract, and I'm not going to speak badly about these because the minions are here, but I am going to speak positively about this because I know there's been a bit of a reaction to this with, about the minions construction wars. And again, massive shout out to Universal News Today on Twitter or Uni News Today at Universal News Today for the uh, construction war pictures. Uh, go and check them out on Twitter. Brilliant website. Uh, brilliant site on Twitter. Um, in terms of the look of the walls, like I said, they're really cool. In terms of the sounding of this rumour attraction, you know, I'm, I'm acting a bit like Rollercoaster Romano here. It's not official and confirmed, here we go. 
but it's sort of like maybe on the brink. We're sort of going 50-50 each way here. So the rumor, like I stated, is an interactive attraction, possibly on a moving walkway, where you go from booth to booth trying out these super weapons. And I think it'd be a very interesting experience, a very new experience, and something very unique and rare, and you know, something that's not really been experienced before. So I think that this is a really good opportunity to um, to experience the the magic of the minions, should we say? Um, I feel like the minions' experience could be amazing i think it could be very well themed i think you know am i expecting a very screen based attraction maybe probably um i think that universal love their screens look at fast and furious supercharged replacing the old disaster studios Mwah. who remembers disaster studios a motion move mo a movie <laughs> a motion pitch um God, I can't remember it. A major motion picture starring you. There we go. Um, but this sounds... I mean, I, I expect it to be very screen-based. I'm not expecting a lot of animatronics or a lot of statuettes and theming, but I'm expecting a few or quite a few. But I'm expecting this to be quite screen-based. I'd be surprised if it isn't screen-based. I, I wouldn't be surprised if there is at, in, in at least a few screens. But I'm probably expecting this to be more screen based than animatronic based. That's just my personal preference from this decision. So, obviously, like I say, it's just a rumor. Uh, this rumored villain con attraction is around 2023 summertime opening. Um, so, we'll obviously, stay tuned to the rumors. And hit in, hit, if we hear any more on it, we'll bring it here on Coast Charlie YouTube channel. Um, as for my friends, the minions on the desk, they're going to give my desk a bit of a, a wood replacement. Um, but uh, while they do that, make sure you do like the video if you loved it. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions. Subscribe if you're new around here. Click the notification bell so you know my YouTube video. And for now, my name is Coach Chell. Keep living the coast life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a minion tastic day. Now, about this working contract on replacing my desk. Mm -hmm.